today. Definitely not a beach day, Kellyanne, once that rain moves on in. Yeah, you know, it's funny. We started this morning with some blue sky, but those clouds are now in place. It's starting to get a little muggy out there, and I'm giving you a heads up here. We do have the potential for some impacts moving in with that rain and downpours. Downpours, especially through about 8 o'clock this evening, and it's really eastern Massachusetts moving through areas of Connecticut and Rhode Island, possibly even the New Hampshire Sea Coast for especially this afternoon, where we'll see some of those downpours tracking through. So because of that said, we do have during this time frame pretty much from one through about seven to eight that nuisance weather pushing through in the form of widespread rainfall, possibly some downpours, but also the chance of a rumble of thunder or two is a little muggy out there. So that is going to be a factor helping to ignite these showers that are pushing in. But notice that temperature wise, we do not get much warmer today. A lot of these clouds keeping us in the low 70s and eventually, of course, with these showers strengthening a bit through this evening, we will be cooling down to the 60s. So let me take you into what's going on right now. Umbrella needed. We do have that rain filling in at this point. It's pretty widespread, although I will say if you're down toward the South Shore and on down to the Cape and Islands, you're actually missing out on it at this point. We will see these showers continue to track eastward right now as you move just north and west of the city. We do have some moderate showers that are moving right along Route 2 here. Not seeing any signs of lightning. That's the good news there, and I'm not expecting much in the way of lightning. In fact, any signs of lightning we had earlier was down toward New York City. It was moving through Long Island. Still one little area of lightning moving just south in Connecticut, but at this point, lightning is not a major issue. Great news there. We do have another line out to the west here in upstate New York that will be pushing eastward, bringing continued showers and even downpours to our area right on through this evening. So this is the timeline and a heads up here for those of you that are hitting the roads for the evening commute. We will be seeing widespread rainfall in place. You can see that really filling in as we progress toward five, six o'clock this evening. Downpours in place, especially as you move just along and south of the pike. Some heavier showers possible moving to the north as well, but overall just a very wet pattern tonight. Some of these downpours could bring some poor drainage issues as far as flooding on our roadways this evening for at least a short time. But notice as we move toward 9, 10 o'clock, most of the rain is winding down. So with the Red Sox game at 7, 10, there may be some rain in the beginning of the game, perhaps a rain delay. But I do believe that things will start to fade and clear out later in the night. We're at 69 right now. The wind, it's a little light out there out of the east northeast. We are going to stay in the low 70s this afternoon, so not much of a warm up. After seeing those 80s of yesterday, this is quite a bit of a cool down. Lows tonight in the 60s, and as the rain fades, we see some fog. Then we rebound into the mid 80s tomorrow, except at the coastline, where we do have that sea breeze kicking in and keeping us in the mid to upper 70s. Here's your seven day forecast. Now, it's a mainly good day for tomorrow, as we do see a good amount of sun, just some clouds passing through, especially in the afternoon. But a little heads up in the evening. Check this out. We do have some showers developing out to the west, and there will be a spot shower chance for areas west of 95 in the evening. Otherwise, all good for outdoor plants, but that humidity, Antoinette, is not going anywhere anytime soon. And by Friday, it's going to feel hot and sticky.